All right, Shalom. And first up, by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, the bondage to the elders and apostles of great millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth with sincerity. All right, so I just was meditating on something really quick. Just watching um, a brother uh, on YouTube, you know, before I head to bed, just going through some videos, um, which I like to do, you know, go to sleep listening to a video or something from one of the brothers. And as I'm watching, you know, I'm just sitting thinking about myself as well. Um, you know, and the humility, you know, that we suffer, you know, not necessarily, you know, um, out of spite as if, you know, we're, 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 you know, ashamed of it, but, you know, to the world, you know, it, that it's what you would consider embarrassing. Okay. And this is something I think is a, a big stumbling block to some brothers who know, the knowledge, know the truth, but are scared to hit the highways and byways because of humility, all right, or embarrassment, you know, because, you know, a lot of people get on us about, you know, the, the garments and things like that, and, um, you know, calling them dresses, and you know, things like that, and, you know, you might run into somebody that you knew back in the world, and you know what I'm saying? You know, just, just thinking carnally and, you know, worried about the flesh and what other people think. And me being young and it's truth, you know, um, that's something you got to take account for, man. And if you young-minded, man, and, you know, you too worried about, you know, you being young and it's truth. And, you know, so I'm 21. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who still in the world, they still worried about, how much money this, how much money that, what kind of clothes this, what kind of clothes that, what kind of shoes this, what kind of shoes that. Now that we're getting older, they worried about what kind of car this, what kind of car that, you know what I'm saying? So because we're taken out of the world, you know, the things we do, you know, a lot of people will find embarrassing, okay? But, um, you know, as time goes on, man, once you just go out there and say, you know, F it, fuck what everybody think, you know, excuse my language, you know, you know, you just say, fuck it, man, you know, because, hey, man, the kingdom, man, we're going to be stunting, man, all right, so, you know, we're going to have, you know, all the little bullshit that people think relevant now, just wait until the kingdom, man, we're going to have, you know, all types of stuff, man, all right, different types of chariots, all right, women, gold, all the elements, etc. Shit, immortals, all right, you know, everything to the T, all right, nothing corruptible, all right, planets, the galaxy, okay, and you know, everything, man, we're going to receive a hundredfold, man, okay, but I just wanted to, to uh, grab a couple scriptures, man, because, man, I think, you know, that humility factor in this truth, man, is a big stumbling block to a lot of brothers, man. All right, not necessarily to the ones who are already out here on the highways and byways, okay? You know, but, you know, just like I said, me personally, I was learning some things, and, you know, when you first go out there on the highways and hedges, man, you, you kind of, you, you get that type, kind of nervous feeling like, man, dang, man. Look at me, man. You know, people going to be, you know, saying this about me, saying that. All right. Um, I might run into somebody and, you know. So say if, like, if you're a street dude or you used to be a street dude, you know, oh, dang. Dang, man, the dude, man, some of the dudes I should kick with, they going to see me. They going to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just a whole bunch of carnal, carnal thinking, man. Okay. So I just want to get a few scriptures, man, through the spirit before I head to bed. Because uh, I was just thinking about it, man. So I figured I'd just go into it really quick. All right, this is Acts 20 and 19. Serving Yahweh with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations, which befell me by the lying and, and weight of the Jews. Okay? 
So the point there, what I'm trying to get is serving the Lord with all humility. Okay, we 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 you know you're going to go through embarrassment. You know, I mean after a while, like I said, man, you just say fuck it, man. You know I'm trying to get to the kingdom, man. I'm trying to do my father's business, man. You know I'm trying to get right with Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, man. Fuck what everybody think, okay? But in the beginning, you know once you first step out there, it's, man, it's like a stage, man. All right. It's like a stage, man, with the whole crowd. You got the whole world watching you, man. All right? And it's just, you know, you might be, a, like, for instance, I hit the highways and byways at, like, local parks that's close to my area where I could catch Wi-Fi and able to go live off my laptop. So I'll have to be out there by myself. But then, you know, on Sundays, I'll go with a couple brothers, you know, who are a great millstone. Um, and we would go um, out in this, like, public area, which is called Sayota Mile, which a lot of people pass through, et cetera. All right? So, you know, I'd be in a situation where I'm by myself prophesying, and I'd be in a situation when I'm with the brothers, you know, and I'm just really not just now trying to get into the camp. So I just keep my garment on, take notes. You know, they might have me pull some scriptures out, et cetera. You know, um, just really... Getting into their rhythm of, you know, how they go out and hit the highways and hedges. But I remember the first time I went out alone. And, you know, it was, you know, it wasn't bad. All right. Just like I say, if you build your spirit up enough, man, it's like I say, you just start. You just don't care. You know what I'm saying? You want to do what you got to do to gain your salvation, man. All right. But you, you will get that, you know, that little, you know, that little knot in your chest. Like, dang, man, this is it. All right. You know, like, that, that, that's when it's like, you know, being in the truth, it cleanses you. Okay. And it, it, it transitions you. But once you start doing the work, that's, you know, it's like, it's just levels, man. It's, it's just a different level, man. Once you start doing the work, once you start hitting the highways and byways, it's like, man, now you're on the stage, man. Okay. You know how, you know, they got, like, American Idol, you know, you got your, your tryouts and, you know, whatever the case may be, all right? You know, your little small stages and setups, you know? You know, that's that's kind of how it is coming into the truth, you know, okay? You know, testing the ropes, you're studying, doing what you got to do, all right? Now it's time to hit the highways and byways. Now it's time for that humility factor to kick in, all right, et cetera. All right, and, and that's how it get, man, you know, it, it get, um, you know, it, it get like that, man, especially when you're young, too, all right, us young brothers, man, you know, so I said, we, we dealing, we in the younger generation, and, you know, people in our generation, they're just blinded, man, I mean, man, a tight blindfold on, so they, they see us come out like that, you know, you got some mature ones who understand and might get it or know about the Hebrew Israelites, all right, but like you know, I'm pretty sure a couple of us got brothers who know the truth, all right, but are too you know worried about humility, all right, and stuff like that that they still indulge into things of the world, they're not you know ready to make that you know that full conversion, all right, that new creature, okay, you know they know where he is like they know you know some things, all right. But when it comes to doing the work, man, they're too embarrassed because they don't want to lose their status in the world, okay? Or lose their respect in the world, which, you know, it's ultimately going to play in their downfall, you know, eventually. But, um, sorry for the rambling, but, you know, just a quick testimony, really, all right? And just, you know, just speaking out loud, man, because, hey, it, it happens, man, all right? So... Let's just grab a couple more scriptures, man. Let's see. All right. Um. Uh, hold on. How the feet pulled up? What happened? Oh, uh, this is the only one coming up.
that was a good scripture to bring up. But, um, I had more pulled up. I don't know what just happened. Maybe that's why. Let me see. Yeah, that's why. I'm on KJV. Alright, um. Alright. So like you. Time for me to go to bed. Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of the Lord. Alright, the fear of Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. Okay, so before you get your honor, man, alright, you gotta suffer humility. Alright, just that 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 that's simple, man. Alright? Because what we honor with the world honor and what we honor, man, is two different things, man. All right. You don't have to suffer humility in the world. OK, you're trying not to suffer humility here. OK, ultimately, to, you know, gain uh, wicked things. All right. Or uh, vain glory. All right. But us seeking righteousness. All right. Our honor, you know, we have to suffer humility being because we're not of this world, man. You know, we're we're being taken away from this world. All right. Now, God Acts twenty and nineteen. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, it's about that time. Oh man. Let's get Col Colossians two and twenty three. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the satis I'm sorry, Shalaki, the satisfying of the flesh. OK, so let's read that again. That's powerful. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body. Not in honor to the satisfying of the flesh. So when you find yourself caught up in a knot, all right, trying to, you know, dodge, you know, hitting the highways and byways or you're dodging it or you're too worried about, you know, getting humiliated or feeling that feeling, which you're not necessarily really humiliating yourself, man. All right. It's, it's just to the world. You know, it's uh, it's out of the world's eyes, man. All right, and of course, Yahweh Shai sees it. All right, you know, because he sees all things. But you know, you're suffering humility for Yahweh Bashim Shai's sake, man. Okay, and it says, and neglecting of the body. Okay, so you know, a lot of people want to please their flesh, and they don't want to suffer that embarrassment, that humility. All right. They don't want, you know, to, to go through that. They don't want to have people come up to you like saying you got a dress on, you know, they don't want they don't want that, man. They not they not ready for all that, man. All right. They too worried about what the world going to say. That's why you got to neglect the body, man. Not in honor to the satisfying of the flesh, man. You got to neglect the flesh, your fleshly thoughts, your carnal thoughts. OK, you know, because, you know, you're worried about the lens of, of the world. All right. You need to be worried about the lens of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua is for, you know, he he understands that you're suffering your humility, but he understands why you're doing it. All right. You're doing it for his sake. OK. And that's the only thing that matter, man. All right. So ultimately, in the beginning, you're going to feel that humility. All right. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua knows that. All right. He knows that, and that's why he has us do it, all right, because he's taking us out of the world, all right? He's taking us away from the world, these customs, the, their, the, their beliefs, their systems, all right, the way they move, et cetera, all right? So that's just something you got to go through, man. And uh, let's grab this real quick because, like I was saying in the beginning when I was just speaking off the top of the head, you know, everything that we suffer here, 
lose here, etc., man. We're going to receive a hundredfold, man. All right, so the people who think they balling now, man, ain't going to be nothing to com compare to, you know, what we got in the kingdom, man. All right, Lord willing, we're part, we part of those, you know, those first fruits. But even even still, even being um, reborn into the kingdom, man, it's still not going to be comparable, you know, at all. You know, the things of this world, the cares of this world, the little bullshit cars, the little bullshit Gold chains and shit people be seeking. The little bullshit, um, you know, ways of life. All right, the little bullshit shoes, bullshit clothes, things that people lose every damn day that could catch on fire. And now what? All right, your car blow up, your money burnt up, you know, and ultimately all them things is going to get burnt up, man. This is a corruptible world, okay? That's why we got to stack our treasures up in the heavens. All right, we got to worry about the next life. We got to worry about the kingdom, okay? Because once the kingdom is established, it's, it's forever, man. It's immortal, okay? It's never going to end, okay? And you got to understand that. Do you want something that's temporary or do you want something that's never going to end? Because everything in this life is temporary. Um, let's just grab this real quick. Uh, it's Matthew 19. Um, I think 12. Show Rocky a bear with me. Pretty tired. Here we go, right here, 29. Um, Matthew 19 and 29. Everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my name's sake shall receive, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. All right? But many that are first shall be last, okay? And the last shall be first, okay? So you got to put yourself in that mindset, man. That's, that's a powerful scripture. Y'all put yourself in that mindset, man. You want to be last here, man, so that you can be first, you know, one of those first people to get through those gates, man. All right? And the first go around. All right? That elect, man. That one third. All right? But many that are first shall be last. The people here who worried about the world, what's going on in the world, worried about where they want to be five years from now, ten years from now, all that type of stuff, trying to plan their whole life out. All right? They're going to be last. All right? They're going to be the last ones, all right? You know? So, you got to keep yourself in that mindset, man. Um, let's see. Uh, so... All right, this is a good scripture too, really quick. Ephesians four twenty two, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the to the deceitful lust. All right, and that's what that's what's going on. You know that lust. All right, people want to hide. All right, they don't want to suffer that humility. They just want to indulge into their lust. All right, etc. All right. Scared to hit the highways and byways, man. All right. Feeding into the flesh, feeding into the body. All right. Feeding into what your your mind, your carnal mind is thinking. Oh, man. If that, I, I, I'll, I'll do little at home videos or, you know, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, but like I said, it's all levels to this stuff, man. OK. You know, and, and I think, you know. That humility factor is a big stumbling block for some of the brothers, all right. You know some of the you know, the 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 the, the brothers behind the keyboards, all right, etc. So man, you know you just got to get out there, man. You know, everything you feel like you losing here, man. All right, Lord willing, if, if you know, you or me are part of that, you know those first fruit, man. We're gonna receive a hundredfold, man. Are not to me, even the ones being reborn.
back into the kingdom. You know, they're going to receive a nice portion as well. They're going to be living better than they did here. All right? So that's how you got to see things, man. You know? So, hey, you know, that's pretty much all I was planning to get. You know, I wasn't trying to make it too long. You know, just going off the top of the head, really. All right, through the spirit, just thinking, you know, about the humility factor that, you know, we go through. And like I said, you know, I'm a younger brother. So I'm just, you know, really venting on my experiences, you know, so far in this truth, all right? And things you got to sacrifice and really to, you know, be ready for. Things you just got to be ready for being a youth in this truth, all right? <laughs> all right, and it's a great scripture to end it. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not, your, not, lay not up yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. So that's why I was, you know, um, going in on, you know, how people, how, you know, we're not of this world anymore. All right. And the things that you feel like you're losing. All right. Or the, the, the thoughts. Okay. The thoughts that you have. All right. That aren't valid anymore. All right. Still thinking as a corrupt man and worried about corrupt things. All right. You know, you got to let those things go, man. You know, because everything here is bound to perish on this side. But in the next, on your Hawa Bahashim, your Hawa Shai side, it's immortal. Things ain't going to ever end. All right. You know, things is going to be so abundant for forever, man, for eternity, man. All right. So keep yourself in that mindset, man. All right, worry about the, you know, what's coming after this, man. Stop worrying about, you know, the lust of your flesh. Stop worrying about, you know, how embarrassed you're going to be, all right, when you're doing the works for you, how about how should be on your side, man. Because, you know, hey, we, we owe him this, man. Especially if he woke our eyes up, you know, to this knowledge, to this truth. We owe him that humility, all right. What he said comes, for, comes before honor, humility, all right. So go through it, man. You know, so Lord willing, man, we could get to the kingdom, be one of those first fruits, all right? And, you know, and then, you know, you, we'll get the ball out and stunt and, you know, have multiple wives, you know, and do all those type of things, man, all right? But now we just need to stay humble, suffer our, our humility, all right? Endure our hardness like good soldiers. You know, and Lord willing, man, we make it, man, all right? So this is just a quick one through the spirit, man. Lord willing, it was edifying. Uh, that's all I really got, you know. So before I go, got to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to all the Akim out here pressing the truth with all sincerity. Shalom until the next one, Lord willing.